appreciate it. Thanks. Congratulations. Thanks. Okay, and uh, JJ will be joining us shortly. So, Coach, we're going to begin with an opening statement uh, from you, and then we will go to questions from the media. Okay, Coach? Um, just incredible feeling. Um, th great thrill of victory, great thrill of winning. Wonderful, wonderful feeling of winning. Um, it's what our team had planned for, hoped for, worked for. Most importantly, uh, and they stayed with it the, you know, the entire time. It was an uh, incredible, uh, incredible performance, and and uh, we're just going to enjoy this one. We're going to enjoy this one for uh, for a few days. Team will have a week off, um, but you know our mind will get on a one-track mind to uh, to move on in the playoffs and find out who we're going to play, and and then uh, you know it's. Team has st still has more goals to accomplish. Please raise your hand, and we'll get a microphone to you right here. Hey, coach, your defense. A few turnovers today. Could you talk about the overall effort, including that guy to the left of you right now? <laughs> uh, just a playmaker. Uh, when a play has to be made, when the magic needs to happen, uh, you know, Mikey makes it happen. It's. It's been game after game, uh, you know, especially down the stretch here. You know, these uh, these final f four games, um, it's just been uh, it's been a stalwart. You know, and sometimes you know he's, he intercepts, he uh, he makes the big hit, uh, he makes the big hit in the in the in the fumble, cause fumble. Um, just uh, you know, just an incredible player, and he does it by always being in the right place. Where he's supposed to be, um, playing the right technique at all times, leading other guys to to do the exact same thing. But he also does it as a as a superior athlete, and uh, you know when that combination comes together, superior athlete and and a guy that does everything right, um, you know it's 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 fun to watch and uh, glorious uh, glorious win, glorious defensive performance, um, you know, just just tremendous lights out. Three and outs. I think we're maybe four on the game. Uh, then first, you know, one first down and out. Um, you know, incredible uh, shutout. How many turnovers were there? Three or four? Three, Three. plus the uh, mm -hmm. the four fourth down stops. Um, and that's like seven turnovers. Uh, and putting giving the ball to the offense and in great position. And um, so just spectacular. Blake, congratulations on uh, on. Uh, Tying the Michigan all-time scoring record for touchdowns, and uh, congratulations to Mikey. Uh, MVP. Congratulations to you, Coach. Uh, yeah, Welcome great. back. Well, appreciate felt, it. Felt great. I never left. Back. <laughs> never, never left. But it was great having your presence on the side. Question right here in front, Mike. If Jim and Blake and Mikey, if you could all talk about what the significance. I guess it's the first time three outright championships in the Big Ten. Talk about that significance, if each of you could. Blake, we'll start with you. Start with me. Uh, you know, it feels great. You know, uh, I didn't know we were the first, you know, three and out. But, you know, to have three back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back Big Ten championships, you know, it's a wonderful feeling. You know, we've kind of changed the narrative, you know, uh, how people look at Michigan, you know. And so, you know, back-to-back-to-back, -to -back -to -back, you know, it feels great. But like, like I always say, like, you know, like Kobe Bryant said, you know, the job's not finished. You know, we set these goals at the beginning of the season, and we, help, we hold ourselves uh, to such a high standard. You know, we, we must accomplish those goals. You know, and today was a great stepping stone. But like Coach said, you know, we're going to enjoy this one. We're going to enjoy this one, and, uh, yeah. you know, and then we'll get back to the, uh, the, the drawing page. But, um, you know, it means a lot to go back to back to back. Mikey? Um, you know, it just feels great, like, you know, guys like me and Blake, like this is what we came back for, you know, to, to have this success with this team. Um, you know, like the brotherhood that this team has is, is, is one that, you know, you, I wouldn't give it up for any, anything in the world. Um, and, you know, this team is, you know, going down in history. And, you know, the way we go about our goals is you, you put everything into the, the next goal. Um, and, you know, there's, there's work to, there's more work to put in. There's more ways to get better. Um, but, you know, like Coach, Coach is probably going to say it. Um, I'm, I'm going to say it first before he says, you know, the worm has turned around here. I was just about to say that. Yep. <laughs> 
But, uh, and, and, you know, Blake just said it as well. Like, you know, the narrative's changed. But, you know, for some odd reason, you know, people look at Michigan, they'll say, you know, we don't, you know, play whoever. Um, you know, we don't deserve to be where, you know, wherever we are. But, you know, as we say, the only people, the only things that matter is what, what happens inside of Shen Becker Hall. Jim, do you want to? Yeah, you took the words out of my mouth. I mean, uh, you know, really, you know, look at this whole group and, and, you know, JJ, Blake, Mikey, you know, so many others. Um, just uh, the worm has turned. And, and th these are the guys. I mean, these, these Michigan football players, when you look back at the Mich history of Michigan football, um, you know, wrote the book on uh, getting the worm to turn. The... Um, and, and a worm's pretty slippery. You know, that thing can start wiggling back and forth and turning back on you. But, I mean, these guys also, I mean, they put a hook in it. The hook got put in the worm. And uh, they've written the book on, on how to do it. It wasn't that long ago to, you know, we were, we, we were saying, I mean, we're going we're gonna to do this or we're going to die trying. And, uh, you know, they just give everything they got. That's, that's all we ask them is to give, them, give it their very best. But, I mean, they give everything they have uh, on a daily basis. And I, I can't, if I got to pull guys back, I never have to talk them in. Uh, you know, the amount of guys that were, you know, playing through something tonight, playing with something, could have easily taken a knee, didn't. Uh, you know, they just, I heard Mike B say it the other, the other day. I mean, something just really resonated with me. I mean, I'm, you know, I'm just ready to go out there and die. You know, we never ask them to do that. Just go out and give it your very best and give us everything you got. Um, and and every, every guy in this team does it that way. Uh, and not just on game days. It's, it's every day. How's it feel to you, JJ? Uh, it feels great. Obviously, you know, to be back and do it again, just like uh, Blake, Mikey, and Coach hit on. Um, you know, this was one of our goals, and it just feels great to accomplish it. But, you know, the way I'm feeling personally is I need to get better. We need to get better as offense and really focus in on the little things. And, you know, it's going to be a great month of preparation. Right here in front. Jim and any of the players you want to answer, but could you kind of sum up your thoughts, feelings, being on stage, watching the commissioner hand you guys the Big Ten Championship trophy? Coach? Oh, yeah, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Um, just a wonderful feeling of winning, great thrill of victory. Um, yeah, that's uh, – I mean, how many more people can we get up here on the stage? You know, they just – they said it was pretty fortified, so keep bringing them up. And, uh, you know, it's, it's where we wanted to be. It's what we, uh, it's what we hope for, um, what we work so hard for. And, and then it happened. You know, it's like kind of pinch yourself, but um, – yeah, the way our the way our defense was playing, you know, the gutty performance, another gritty one by our by our offense, um, and then the special teams. You know, James Turner kicking the four field goals, Samaj Morgan with the big punt return, uh, just just so good. You never know exactly who's gonna who's gonna be the guy. You know, who's gonna no. who's gonna make the play. Um, I mean, these three they do it every week, uh, but there's always somebody else that that uh, you know gets in there as well. Kenneth Grant had a dominating game. Mm -hmm. um, so did Mason Graham and Chris Jenkins. Um, Cam, Cam Good, those interior guys, the edge guys were incredible. Uh, but these three every week, it's every week, these are the, these are the three guys. And then it's, then it's a, you know, always a multitude of other guys that, that uh, step up and uh, make the magic happen. Back here in the back. Hey, Coach, Kyle with Sports Report Media. Um, how special is this for you, especially in the town? Your name's up there on the stadium, but also you earned the title captain comeback here. How special is this for these guys and for you tonight? Uh, it's, it's the most special. Um, yeah, I've gotten to the point in my life where um, <clears throat> I don't know when this happened. I mean, it was a while ago, uh, a couple decades ago, where it's just – it's not about me. It, it uh, had plenty of success, but uh, you know that your your players can know what it likes to be be a champion. That their families can know what it like what it's like to be a champion. You know, for my wife, you know, my kids to have their dad be a champion. For my parents to have their son be a champion. That uh, that's the great thrill. Friends, uh, and you know, most especially. You know, my kids, 
you know, just uh, they know what it's like to their dad's a champion and mostly the players, you know, that they get to feel what it's like to be a champion. And um, that's a that's a beautiful, wonderful thing. Uh, right. Right here, right in front. A couple of questions here. First for Blake. I mean, have you heard from many former Michigan players at all after tying the record? And for Jim, at what point did you realize that Blake tying and, and potentially breaking this rather career rushing record was a possibility? Blake? Uh, no, I haven't, I haven't heard from uh, any former, you know, uh, running backs. I mean, Coach Hart, obviously, you know, that's my guy. Um, but in terms of, like, Anthony Thomas or anyone, no, no, I haven't. I haven't even checked my phone, you know, so, uh, you know, I, I definitely might. But, uh, you know, it feels great, you know, just being up there with the greats. You know, the greats, you know, that's something I wanted to do when I came here. Obviously, I wanted to be a great football player, but I just wanted to honestly just leave an impact on and off the field, just be a great person, you know, and I feel like I've done that, you know, but uh, there's, there's obviously more to do. But, uh, you know, I haven't heard uh, from, uh, from, from anyone. Coach? Uh, I just think... Um... Just how proud James Corum has to be. Um, you know, he's such a great man, such a such a good friend, and everything that he poured in to Blake, uh, the discipline, the work ethic, um, the toughness. You know, blessed uh, from mom, dad, and God with the with the DNA. Um, but yeah, that's that's kind of where 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 my mind goes. I mean. What it'd be like to be Blake's dad, you know, <laughs> <laughs> and JJ's dad, you know, Jim McCarthy. He's got to be, you know, Carlo oh, and, and Ray Sammers still, you know. I mean, gosh, you guys have made your parents so incredibly proud. Before the New Year, did you think Blake had a chance at the record? Did you think Blake had a chance at the record? The question. Uh, yeah, there's, there's nothing I don't think Blake can do. Um, you know, no matter, you know, what people tell you you can't do, you know, you just, you just go back and, and think of all the things that you have done to get you this far. So, uh, you know, that's, that's the way these guys were raised by their parents. And, and uh, I get to watch it daily, weekly, monthly, yearly with these guys. I mean, pretty much everything I said about them, you know, is now everybody knows. And that's a... Uh, that's such a such a sweet thing, just really sweet and good. For the record, I hosted Blake as a recruit. <laughs> he did. He did. Okay, you're over here. Yeah. Who's your host? Uh, it was me, right? It was it, it was you. We went to the movies. Went to the movies. I can't. I don't. I don't remember. I'm, actually, I mean, we were at that bouncy um, place too. We were at the bouncy place. Yeah. I don't know if that's still there anymore. It was. Um, don't breathe. Don't breathe. That's what it was. Right. So with the blind guy, the blind guy, the army guy. That's right. For the transcriptionist, that was Mikey. So go ahead, over here. <laughs> uh, for Jim, and then if a player wants to ask, answer too, you've been up here three times now, and you always talk about the next step and what's next. Does it feel any different now, this third time, and what comes next? Do you, you feel you're better prepared or whatever? Coach, we'll start with you. That's for me? Yep. Oh man, I don't have a great answer for that. You, get, you guys got a good answer? For JJ, that? Um, uh, in my eyes, I look at it as you know, acts like you've been there before. Coach Arba always hits on that, just like scoring your first touchdown, like you scored your hundred. And I feel like you know, we scored our hundred today, just being able here to go out there and you know win for a third time. It's just like we've been here before, and we're ready to move on and get better. Yeah, I would just say, uh, just to add, I mean. You know, to me, it feels 10 out of 10 happy, you know, like it did um, last year and like it did uh, in 21. The, um, I can't remember, where was it? Oh, yeah, after the 21, uh, after the 21 game, I mean, I, I lost my wallet uh, and I'm on my way to see Colston Loveland on a, to make a home visit to see him and I was kind of bummed that I lost my wallet but then I you know woke up and um, we're big 10 champions you know that uh, I don't care about my wallet you know <laughs> yeah. and that's how I woke up last year you know uh, that's where it really sinks into me so it'll probably really sink in 
tomorrow when I wake up. I mean, just, if I lose my wallet, my phone, whatever it is, I mean, we're Big Ten champions. You know, it's, it's an amazing feeling. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 happy. Right here. Uh, for Jim and for the players, you know, I saw Zach Zenner getting wheeled out of the tunnel and then going to see him go out on crutches for the coin toss. I just, I'd love to get reaction from all four of you of his presence there today, how much that meant to you. Mikey, you want to start with you? Um, you know, yeah, Zach's a, you know, big piece of this team. Um, and, you know, he's not a, he's not a woe is me guy, even though, you know, he's hurt right now, but, you know, he's still going to lead. Um, and you know, it felt great to have him out there. It felt great to see him. Um, and, you know, I know, you know, me as a captain, you know, the other guys will probably say it as well. Like, you know, that's somebody that, you know, guys on this team turn to. His words mean a lot. Um, and, you know, his actions speak for itself. JJ? Yeah, just like Mikey said, you know, just his presence in general, being a leader on our team, does so much for us because he just, you know, enlivens all of us to go out there and do our best and play for him. And when Coach made this game, you know, for him, we were doing it for him, it just brought another level of urgency and, you know, motivation to go out there and do it for him. Blake? Yeah, seeing my guy Zach out there uh, meant a lot, you know, because he, he didn't have to. You know, he just got out of surgery last week. You know, I bet you he was still in pain, you know, but he did it for the team, you know, and so therefore we did it for him. You know, so just seeing him go out there on the coin toss, on crutches, you know, on the sideline, like you said, just his presence, his just everything he brings to the team. Like, he doesn't have to say much. Just him being there, you know, means a lot. And uh, I definitely miss my guy on the field. Um, you know, but like I said, like I told him, like, it's just a minor setback, man. Like, you're going to come back better than ever. And I, I truly believe that. But, uh, you know, Zach's one of the guys that came back, you know, just like Mikey, just like myself, you know, for what we call unfinished business, you know, and, he, and he's still here. You know, he's still here and uh, he's with the team and, you know, he still brings a lot to the team. You know, even though he might not be able to be on the field pulling and blocking and, you know, uh, protecting JJ and myself, but, uh, you know, his presence, he, it means a lot to us, and he's still there. He's still on a ride, and, you know, uh, I'm blessed to have Zach. Coach, anything to add? Yeah, I would just add, um, you know, it's incredible just how how he was. I mean, after he got hurt and the whole team lined up, and, and I've seen it. I've seen it go one of two ways. I mean, you just you rally around your teammate, or the other thing is, I mean, just incredible sadness and worry. Um, you know, I've seen a teammate – get seriously hurt in high school and in college and in, in pro ball. Um, you know, it just, it's sad. It's, it's, uh, but I mean, and he was in great pain too. I know what it's like to have a bone broken because they, they rub together, you know, until they can, until they can get it really uh, uh, stabilized and isolated and get some kind of, you know, pain medication in you. Those, those bones are rubbing together. It's a, that's a pain. You know, you have never felt before um, just how tough and stoic he was and, and signaling his team. And uh, that's what, what he said at, uh, you know, at the hospital was he was going to he was going to make it here. You know, hey, if it's if it's possible, you know, it's well, we'd love to bring that to life. And he was here, you know, just like he said, uh, yesterday was a super long day for him with uh, with the flight and and, you know, moving around and everything. And um, and yeah, the team team wanted to dedicate to the game to him. And what do we got to do when we dedicate a game to somebody? Got to win. Got to win. Got to win it. Got to win it. And they did. And uh, you know, they wanted him to accept the the trophy at the podium. So just to see all those things come to life um, is beautiful. We'll take a couple more. Raise your hands, please. Right back here. I guess this would be for anybody who wants to answer it. But earlier, Coach Harbaugh had said it wasn't that long ago where. He said, we're going to try real hard or we're going to die trying to be up on this stage. Three years in a row now, I mean, can you put into words what the journey has been like over the last three years with the fight and coming together and all the joy? JJ, we'll start with you. Uh, it's been beautiful, you know, just tremendous blessing to be able to be a part of it. Uh, you know, through all the ups and downs, through all the peaks and valleys, you know, there's nobody I'd rather go to war with every single day than these guys right here and be led by 
um, anybody else but Coach Harbaugh. And it's just been so much fun, you know, so many valuable learning lessons just about life, just about, you know, being a better man came from all the three years. Um, so, you know, I'm just extremely honored to be a part of it. And, you know, I can't wait to see where it goes. Mikey? Um, you know, this, this team is just constantly maturing, um, you know, getting better as men every single day. And, uh, you know, it's been a process, but it's been a very great process, a learning process, learning experience. Um, you know, and I don't think that you could paint a better picture, but the picture also isn't done being painted. Um, and, you know, I can't wait to, you know, continue this journey with these guys. And, you know, Coach says he can't have it any better than any, uh, he has it better than nobody when it comes to players. And, you know, as a player, I don't think, you know, I could have it any better uh, than a coach like Coach Harbaugh, you know, who loves us, um, you know, as, as his sons. And, you know, when you have a coach who, you know, loves you in that way, you're able to, as a player, then love, you know, your coach as well as love your players with that, you know, it's where direct reflections of how Coach Harbaugh treats us. We're going to take a couple more right here. This question is for Blake. Um, just with you personally, your journey to get here last year, your absence, and then, of course, being the touchdown king for tonight. So I guess kind of talk about that journey and trying to face the adversity and get through that to be back here tonight. Yeah, it was a beautiful journey, a journey that uh, taught me a lot of things about myself. You know, I remember on December 2nd last year, you know, I was going into surgery. You know, it was probably around this time, you know, California time. But, uh, you know, going just how a whole 365 can change, you know what I'm saying? So it was a beautiful journey. You know, I went through some trials and tribulations. I found myself again, and I became a better man on and off the field. But to be back out here, uh, you know, with my guys, um, you know, it felt great. You know, it felt great. And, you know, it's been a heck of a journey, but the journey's not over. And, uh you know, I'm super excited to see what this next month has to offer, this next game has to offer, because I know it's going to be glorious. I know it's going to be great. Uh, but to summarize everything, you know, what I've been through from last year to now, it's been beautiful, you know, and I wouldn't change nothing in the world for it. Yeah, I would just add, um, you know, J.J. McCarthy, I would – said it before, I mean, I would follow him to hell and back. Um, and again tonight, Likewise. Just, Sorry. he made throws. Um, the, the one throw he, he made, and then it got called back for a holding call and some other great throws. And you know, uncharacter uncharacteristically, we had some uh, drops. Uh, and uncharacteristically, we had uh, you know, some protection issues. But, um, and that, things that we'll work on, and definitely Zach you know, was mixed. And you know, just... Um, <laughs> But I mean, never hung his head, never like got on anybody. Uh, you know, he just he's just got this this demeanor, and the more you hit him, the more you know, the more he's just motivated to come back, which um, which is amazing. Plus, he's 20 years old, uh, and I, you know, look at some of the. I, I think he's the best quarterback in the country. Um, some some will argue, but I mean, he's got to be the youngest of the best. I mean, see some other guys that are, you know reclassified and, and been been around for forever but he is he's just a tw he's just a kid he's a 20 year old kid doing the things that he's done and the, and the record he has is speaks for itself mm -hmm. uh, but the things you don't see behind the scenes um, you see the talent but you know just the you know the toughness and the dedication you know that he has for the team is is unmatched um, and Mikey you know, we've been talking about, uh, you know, I think I mentioned it. My brother, uh, we watched the Maryland game together, and he was blown away by Mikey um, and, and how he played and gave me a line spike to give to Mikey, uh, which I did, and a um, gift from my brother. And then after the Ohio State game, he told me how much he's, he's, sh he's shooting up the draft boards. But what they don't all don't know is what Mikey will bring to your team, you know, from a leadership standpoint. Um, it's a smile that's infectious. You know, it's the accountability, um, you know, that he holds himself to and holds others to, you know, is it's just so, so elite. And uh, and Blake, you know, Blake. Um, and I, I think, you know, I mean, how good of a player he is, but he, he's he's that good of a person as well uh, on and off the field. I mean, is rock solid of a guy. 
Yeah, I remember being around guys and myself. You know, you make mistakes when you're when you're that age, and you. I mean, he's never made a mistake. He's never said a, you know, a negative word. It's it's the most positive, hardest working, you know, best guy, um, you know, that anybody uh, anybody could coach. So, it's just a a thumbnail sketch. When I say I got a, it's like a walk in the park coaching these guys, <laughs> you know, and who could possibly have it better? Than, than I do, um, you know. The answer to that is nobody, because because uh, the kind of kind of people they are. Well, I'll tell you this: I wouldn't want to play for anyone else, coach. Yeah, uh, love you, coach. Me nobody. Me. Love you guys. Love, love you guys. too, coach. Love you too. We're going we're going to take one more, coach, right here. This one's for Blake and JJ. Jim just a few minutes ago alluded to you know maybe some things on offense that you might want to work on or look for. How do you feel and rate your performance this game? And do you feel that you left any meat on the bone as an offense? Blake, we'll start with you. Yeah, uh, you know first of all, you know Iowa has a good defense. You know let's not act like you know Iowa. Really, fourth, fourth in defense and seventh in scoring or seventh. They're up there. Uh, yeah, or, or vice versa, right? It's fourth in defense, seventh in scoring, or fourth in scoring and seventh in defense. That's a Dang good defense. Good, great defense. You know, now we, we made some mistakes. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, I wish I would have ran a little better. Um, you know, we had drop passes, you know, pass pro. So there's just all things, you know, we can clean up. You know what I'm saying? But we have a month now. We have a month uh, to get guys healthy. Uh, we have a month to watch a lot of film. We have a month to practice a lot. You know, so we have time. But we, you know, we can't waste our time, but we have time. You know, so today's performance, it wasn't our best. But there's nothing better than winning. You know, it got the job done. Uh, like, I, like I said, shout out to the defense, you know, special teams. Um, you know, but like I said, Iowa's defense was good, you know, but we have things to clean up. JJ? <clears throat> yeah, Blake just said it all. You know, he couldn't have said it any better. But, uh, you know, me personally, I just need to do better at, uh, you know, you know, staying in the pocket, not moving too early, and, you know, trusting my receivers downfield all the time. And, uh, you know, just back to the drawing board. Like Blake said, that was a great defense and can't wait to learn from a great defense. And, uh, you know, we'll get better from it and, you know, continue to tighten things down to make us, you know, the most dominant offense we could be. Thanks. JJ, you didn't, you didn't make a mistake out there tonight. There wasn't <laughs> one play where you made a mistake. That, at any time. Yeah, that Husky throw, I won't back. <laughs> maybe the one you, maybe the one, Maybe the one you could have run on where you threw to Roman yeah. on the incompletion, but I mean, that was it. I mean, that was, it was, it was near perfect performance. Appreciate that, Coach. And Blake, that, that, that goal line run from the six yard line, that was a, that was a great run. Yeah, appreciate it, Coach. That was the best six yard run I've ever seen. <laughs> All right, appreciate All right, you.